Man, I guess talk about how it feels to get going. I think it's 11 fights in three years or something like that. It's crazy. So, I mean, uh, how does it feel to be getting ready for another season? Yo, to be honest, uh, I've missed it. <laughs> Only since November last fight, but I've missed it. I love the routine. I love the lifestyle. I love being in camp, breaking the opponent down, breaking the body down, everything. So, no, it's fun. And so I was wondering, because, you know, when you go all the way to the end like you did, I wonder if a couple months later, it's, it feels like, oh, my God, like, I still need some more time off. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just now recovering to start the whole journey again. But you don't feel that at all? Oh, no, not at all. I, I, I'm ready to get it back in. Nice. That's what I love with the PFL format as well. Like, you, I know, uh, like you have a lot of uh, guys, training partners out here, uh, like they waiting to, to get fights and like they training and then the fight falls off, whatever. I love the fact that I know I'm fighting in April, I'm fighting in June, I'm fighting in August, and I'm fighting in November. Uh, so it's fun. Nice. All right, how did the discussion go to be like, all right, we're going to 205? Uh, it wasn't much of a discussion. It wasn't much of it. Like uh, I've been, uh, I've been in uh, 170 for uh, a couple of years, and the uh, first two seasons was pretty easy, and then it just became harder and harder to make weight, and I become better and better. So I fight longer and longer in the season, so it's more weight cuts, less recovery time in between. So it was just grueling, cutting 30, 35 pounds each fight. Uh, so, um, so now uh, a lot more fun. Yeah, I, I clearly, I know that's good. <laughs> week's going to be a lot different for you, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This is new territory, but uh, very exciting. Did, did the result have any, so did the result really have nothing to do with the weight move? Did you know, like, win or lose in the finals? Like, I got to get out of 170, I can't do this anymore? To be honest, I think it happened just the way it was supposed to happen. Um, if... Uh, if the result was different, I don't know if I would have made the move, but I don't know if that would be the best decision for me because it was it was a, it was hard for me to to actually start, keep making uh, four times a year. Yeah, we saw it. You look hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So talk about the difference now, two or five. So now do you just go okay? Now I just don't have that miserable weight cut, or now do you say okay? Now let's put some more muscle on. Let's add some. Pro you like, you do yeah. That? What's the approach? Yeah. So we sat down, the uh, me and the team, and uh, we discussed a little bit of how we should approach uh, making the two or five. Uh, so uh, yeah, I put on a little bit of muscle, uh, a little bit of weight, but not too much. Uh, I'm actually not crazy <laughs> far away from where I was when I was off camp fighting in 170, <laughs> uh, which tells you how much I had to cut. Uh, but um, but it's been it's been it's been a fun process uh, actually uh, training and uh, building a little bit uh, building muscle and gaining weight, uh, doing a little bit different things in the in the weight room. Uh, it's been fun. Nice. Uh, talk about the matchup you have first, kind of a, a big name out, yeah. out of the gate. Yeah. What do you think about the matchup stylistically? Uh, no, I love it. I love it. It was a long time uh, since I fought uh, Southpaw. Uh, so uh, I'm very excited to do that, uh, and for me, um, it's it's fun to to come into the division and actually face a guy that uh, that it's been proven in the division, and I think that's gonna uh, tell a lot of people where I'm at, uh, and because uh, when I when people found out that I was gonna move up to 170, everyone was like, "Why? What are you doing?" I'm like, just wait and see. Last thing for me, I mean, is this season just, you know, obviously it's a huge change in weight division, but it's a huge change to the organization, right? You got Bellator in the mix and all that. I mean, a lot of things happening. So is it is this anything different for you, or is it just business as usual? Go do what you've been doing the last couple of years, or does this feel unique? So what's different is, like, right about now, I don't have to weigh my food. I don't have to think about that. I can actually go home and refuel, and I don't have to think about that, which is new, and this is new territory. Like, I don't have a lot of weight to to get rid of before before the weigh is, so I'm not even I'm not sure we're we're talking about okay should I diet down a little bit and just walk into the weigh is at 206 or should I cut a little bit of like so that if that process is a little bit different but other than that being a veteran in the PFL format um, I believe that I still pre I, I I keep myself pretty even keeled and uh, I know that uh, it's a tough fight. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna take anything uh, lightly and uh, I'm gonna prepare like I'm I'm doing everything. Uh, even though I don't have to run to make weight, I run. Even though I ha like so, I make sure um, I'm doing whatever I need to do. You kind of just explain it there, but like, can you talk about the training now that you don't like half your camp, most of your camp you don't have to worry about cutting weight, right? Like, yeah. We've seen you train. You you spar for thirty minutes and then you go run on the bike for an hour. So like, yeah. like how has training changed a little bit? Like now, are you happy to like just improve your skills and instead of?
better like the like Wicca, like like what strain like? Usually, to be honest, for me, everyone does it differently in terms of how how they how they like structure their training. But usually, like skills training for me is usually off season. We don't we don't have a long off season in PFL, unfortunately. Uh, so during camp and when I'm when I have an opponent, uh, we we mostly structure the training uh, in ter for things that we we are trying to do in the fight and things we expect to do in the fight, getting looks that we expect to get in during the fight and stuff like that, right? So uh, it's not too much different. And to be honest, like I, I fought I fought at 185 and uh, I fought at 170. Now I fought at 205. Like. At the end of the day, when the cage, like, it's not going to be like, oh, he's heavy. We're going to fight, <laughs> you know? It's pretty simple. So it's heavyweight next year. Hitting all the gamas? So I, so I joked when, when I got back uh, from Sweden. I was in Sweden after, after the finals. I came back, and I was heavy because I was like, yeah, I'm moving up, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so the guys, they were like, people didn't know that I was going to move up to 205 yet. So they were, uh, they were asking me, they were like, what's your weight? I was like, yeah, I heard Francis need an opponent. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll see. We, we start with this fight, and then we take it from there. And, um, you know, your last weight, though, was, was pretty bad. Can you reveal, like, just what, what went wrong? I mean, you made weight, obviously, but what went, what went wrong in that? Because you look like death on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the thing is... Uh, I believe sometimes, um, first and foremost, I, like I don't, I don't wanna because it, I don't want, I, want, I don't, I don't want it to feel like, like uh, I'm blaming the way I'm blaming. No, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen, and the reason why everything happened is the reason I'm standing here today fighting in 205. So I don't want to go back and try to make excuses and stuff like that. Everybody has to make weight. I, I was, I, I, I made weight, <laughs> I made weight, but I didn't perform well. So now I'm here. Uh, depends on like probably 40 <laughs> probably 40 yeah 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 we had another fighter in here that they're going from 145 to 155 but they're greater challenges jumping you know weight classes because there's more weight to traverse in the higher divisions or is it, or is the, is it kind of the same process so I believe it's individual for like it depends like for, for me if I were to fight a 185 you would say, yeah, he's moving up, but at that point, I would actually fight in the weight division I was supposed to fight in, right? So it all depends because I believe that a lot of fighters are cutting too much weight. Only reason I cut a lot of weight was because PFL got rid of the 185 division. When I fought at 185, I was actually lighter than what it was when I started going down to 170 because my body was always, I, start, I stayed around 195, like it was easy. As soon as I started to go down to 170, I started to move up more in weight. So it all depends. It's very individual. But I, I always tell guys, because my experience is train hard and like be able to refuel and, 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 uh, uh, and recover uh, is the best way. I don't, I don't want to be the best nutritionist or dietitian or whatever, whatever. I want to be the best fighter I can be, right? So if I'm coming to the fight, depleted and not going to be able to perform because I'm taking 10 pounds more off, like, I don't see the benefit of that. Not in PFL, but in broader MMA, do you think there should be more weight divisions? Oh, that's a great question. And, like, I would say, I would say that, like, I haven't, I haven't, like, started to think about it, like, in depth, but... Uh, in boxing, there's more weight division and there's more belts and you, there, there are a lot of things that's like it's watered out because there's so many champions. So, so, so it's hard. That's a very hard question. And I'm definitely not the right person to answer that. Fair enough. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Bless you, guys. Look forward to seeing you on fight week.